Hey, hi friends. Welcome back to Bahu Automation Lab once again. And in this online video session, we'll start developing test driven development framework. It's called as a TDD framework using ABM. There are lots of advantages using this uh, TDD test driven development framework in ABM. Okay. So without wasting time, we'll start from the scratch and uh, very advanced level. So watch this video uh, tutorial cycle uh, one by one in the part sessions. Okay. So first of all, let's understand what is how we can develop this framework or what is TDD framework. Okay, so TDD is called stage driven development framework. And this in part one, we learn that in the building the robust TDD framework with the APM and uh, test ng APM for the mobile automation framework. Okay, we use test ng as a part of TDD development. Okay, so test ng framework is the most popular framework. I have already set a uh, like a series on test ng, you can watch that as well. If you want to learn more about TestNG. So we are using TestNG uh, framework framework integrated with the TDD test development. It will uh, give us a more advantage while developing this framework. Okay. So from the scratch level, you can learn everything until advantage or advanced level. And you can get more advantage while developing this framework and uh, automating the test, test scripts. Okay. So what type of advantage will get and how we are developing this framework. Okay. So these are the very important points you have to understand that before developing the test driven development framework. Okay, so first of all, let how framework will be work. So we'll let's understand what is the design plan and what are the benefit uses of TDD development framework. Okay, so in the design part and the advantage of test ng development framework, uh, like with the help of test ng and TDD framework, is we can avoid the code duplication and improve our code code. Uh, quality and re uh, readability in the more efficient way. Okay, so first, this is the first advantage. Second advantage is like a skillful and scalable automation. Uh, when we have developed this framework, okay, any automation engineer can the, uh, do the coding in the like a skillful and scalable way. Uh, so it's a skillful and uh, scalable automation. Integrate the synchronization techniques such as implicit and explicit weights into the automation framework to ensure the reliable and uh, efficient test execution. For example, uh, if we develop uh, the normal framework or if you are like a de developing normal script in automation, then uh, we are using the implicit and explicit and uh, like a prevent weight, these types of weight while developing the framework, right? So we are like in the TDD framework while developing this framework sessions, we are understand how efficient way we can use this synchronization method like implicit and explicit weight. We are more focusing on the explicit weight because this weight is more uh, visible and powerful for the particular element only. So we'll understand that concept. But this is the uh, like a designing part and uh, the benefits of using TDD framework. This is the third benefits. So in the fourth benefit, we understand parameterization automation framework to enable the feasibility and reasonability of allowing the test to do easily customize and execute with a different set of inputs. We know the parameterization concept is very important while developing the automation framework and while developing the normal test scripts as well. Because uh, if you do the parameterization in the proper way, one set of data you can use the multiple time or multiple time uh, in the your script. Whenever we require that uh, data in any script, you can easily uh, use that uh, test data in your script and you can uh, like develop your script. So this is the very important part. part. We are include that parameterization in our test development framework. Also in the fifth point, we can combine the Java test engine and Maven into the test automation because Maven as the build management tool test engine as a framework and uh, for the coding purpose, we will use Java as the language. This is the more popular language. Now in the sixth part, we are understand how to handle the exception uh, in the uh, exception handling mechanism in the TDD framework because we don't know when the exception will be occur. There are some certain cases where we can get the some exceptions. Okay, so how to handle that? Okay, using the try catch mechanism and everything we can cover in the so this uh, TDD development part. Okay, so uh, let's understand some more uh, more like uh, benefits and. Uh, uh, design part related to this like we, we will use like enhanced test reporting with the extend report so we will use the extend report to log in the uh, test steps okay and uh, it is a very beautiful html re uh, report which which will automatically get created 
whenever you run the test scripts or your test suits or sanity level suits or regression level suit in your uh, particular framework and uh, if you uh, like add as some email part in that it will automatically send to your management and all those things so this is the very popular and uh, beautiful uh, reporting tool uh, which we can use uh, in the tdd test driven development design plan and uh, in our uh, test like a test driven development framework as well so we will use exchange report as a reporting purpose so it benefits the test data management for the test data management we can use a, a json's integrations because json is the very lightweight data integrations whenever we require some data for your test have to run the test data uh, like for example we require the login user id and password for the login script so this is the small type of data we can store into the one json file and we can just combine that json uh, integrate that json files with your automation script and we can use that json uh, we, we can use that test data whenever it required okay so we will uh, use a json file as a test data management uh, purpose for expected result test data management for example uh, whenever you log in we required to check whether we are logging successful or not so we are checking that uh, that profile name and everything what that data we required we, we will just act like a comparing actual data with the expected data so whatever expected data we required for that particular script we can uh, store into the dot uh, xml file log string dot xml file and this is also a little lightweight so that we can easily integrate with our test scripts and uh, we can develop the test test driven data driven framework so this is the nine point uh, which we are developing our TDD framework. Okay. Also, we can generate some videos and screenshots, capture in test, test execution, and attach that screenshot with the, our extent re report. So this will be help more to share that the management or the developers that this is the particular bug will uh, uh, capture at the time of a test execution. This is the uh, current video of my execution, and this is the screenshot which is captured by the my script while executing the script. So. This will be the entire uh, architecture so that easily we can understand and in the runtime level we can capture the video and the screenshot whenever our script get failed. In the 11th point, we can understand automate the programmatically APM server startup. For example, uh, we have to start the APM server. First of all, before starting as a beginner level, we will start this APM server through the uh, APM desktop server itself. Okay. I'll just learn that how to start that APM server programmatically as well. I have separate video on that, uh, separate session on that also. You can watch that session also, but in this TDD framework also, I'll cover that part. Okay. You can run that uh, APM server programmatically as well. Okay. So in the 12th point, we can understand the par parallel test execution with the APM. This is a very important point while uh, developing the test driven development framework or any framework while working with the APM because in the APM uh, mobile automation itself, there are a multiple device we require to run. We have to cover the multiple operating systems, mobile operating system uh, related to the uh, Android, related to the OS, different different top uh, uh, company OS and everything we require to cover, right? So the parallel execution is more important if you are using any cloud devices or any such of data. So it will be covered easily or our test execution will be not taken more time to execute because uh, if you are running on the one single devices and we have thousand scripts, it will take a very high time to run your entire suits. Okay. So we can divide it into the hundred hundred parts on the ten different devices and it will execute easily. So that this is the part is very important. We are understand how to do the parallel test execution with, with the APM. And also we will integrate uh, our Git integration in the framework development. So Git hub uh, is a very um, very important while uh, you are executing the code, right? In the real time working, we have to integrate our all the script in, into the one Git server, okay? And we are committing that code into the Git server and our all the schedulers and everything we uh, using like a CI CD and everything which will be executed from the Git uh, library, or, sorry, Git, uh, what we can say, Git cloud itself, right? So well, we have to integrate that, how to integrate our framework with the Git hub. We will learn that concepts also in this TDD automation framework. Now, uh, in the 14 point, uh, for 14 point, we let's understand how to integrate Jenkins for continuous integrations. Well, for example, Jenkins is very important for continuous integrations. These are the parallel test execution, Git integrations, and Jenkins is, is the last, but the not the least, but the important point of I'll develop in the TDD framework because 
if you integrate the Jenkins, then it will continuously integrate your script while if you are not uh, like front of your system and uh, you just schedule that script on the midnight or any time, whatever you want, and it will automatically contribute to that GitHub URL and it will execute your script and share you the reports. If any failure will occur, it will be directly uh, share that report to your email. So this type of things, so our continuous integration, so what, whenever we require the job and everything, we will uh, just integrate this Jenkins uh, continuous integrations system in your script, uh, in our TDD framework. So that uh, when, whatever time we were required to execute our uh, regression suit, sanity suit, whatever suit you can execute through the Jenkins CID CDD continuous integrations. So that's the benefits and design plan of our automation framework. Okay. So in the next lecture or next part, let's understand APM TDD framework required tools and technologies. Okay. So that's it in the part. Let's continue the session in the next chapter till time. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Take care.